This is Liam. Without a doubt, man, for me, do you know what I mean? Ruby fucking Tuesday all the way, man, do you know what I mean? She's cool. Her patisserie skills are cool. And she's going to fucking do it, man, do you know what I mean? Without a doubt, man, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I do miss Terry. Terry was fucking Bobbins, man, do you know what I mean? But he's a dude. A dude. So, you know, respect to Terry, man, do you know what I mean? And good luck to everyone. Bake forever. Hello, this is David Mitchell, comedian and fan of the Great British Bake Off and baking as a whole. So, who do I want to win the overall competition? Well, it would have to be Kim Joy. Kim Joy deeply impressed me during Spice Week in episode 5 when her exquisite decoration on her spice biscuit chandelier propelled her to star baker status, and quite rightly so. And who has been my least favourite contestant? Well, it would have to be Dan. Dan may well have been crowned star baker in week 4 as he wowed the judges with his melting chocolate ball dessert against all the odds but I did feel that he got a little bit cocky afterwards. And as we all know, nothing good ever came from having an elevated sense of status. So that's my opinion. May the best baker win. This is Sir Ian McKellen. And I think that theatre is everywhere. And there is no bigger theatre than the kitchen. And that is why I offer my full support to Rahul to win the Great British Bake Off competition because he is a very talented baker but also seems like a very nice boy. So I hope you win, Rahul. And I don't mean any disrespect to John, but I'm glad he's not there because he's my least favourite contestant. Nothing to do with his baking talent, you understand. It's because of his crazy Hawaiian shirts. It played... Havoc, really, with my eyes and my television set. So, no disrespect, John, but I'm glad you're not a finalist, because I would have to watch the TV with my back turned. Good luck to you all. Bye-bye.